What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the review for the Galaxy S9 Plus. I've had this since day one, so it's almost been two months, about a month and a half. I've had this phone and this is easily the best Samsung phone ever. Now it's pretty easy to say because every year, every phone that's usually released by a manufacturer is usually their best, but this one is basically Perfect. This is an amazing phone. So let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the display on the Galaxy S9 Plus. It is absolutely beautiful. It's bright. It gets really dim if you want to. Um, the edge to edge display is again, beautiful. They make the best displays on the market. That's why Apple uses their displays. And that's why Samsung year in and year out always wins basically the best display on any phone because they make the best displays. This is no different. Uh, watching videos, looking at photos, whatever you're doing, it's always a great time with the Galaxy S9 Plus. Next up is the design. The design is top notch. Definitely one of the top two best looking phones of the year. Huawei P20 is definitely up there as well. I haven't seen that one in person, but just looking at photos and videos of that phone, that possibly could be the best looking phone, but this is definitely at least the best looking phone I have had in my hand uh, this year and last year for sure. Uh, I love the purple color that I got here, the lilac purple, it's gorgeous. Um, and then overall design is, you know, this, they don't cut corners in terms of, you know, there's no cheap materials in here. Everything feels premium. It's a very thin phone, but again, it feels premium. It's got a good weight to it. It looks beautiful. You really can't go wrong when it, with Samsung these days. When you go back to, I believe, the Galaxy, you know, like S5, that thing, not so much. But then when you work its way up, S6, S7, S8, S9, they're awesome looking phones and they keep getting better. Even though this is basically the same design as last year, it didn't. It, it still is a great looking design. Uh, they didn't miss out on anything, even though it's carried over a year, it still looks great. Next up, let's talk about the speed of this phone. That's one of the things that makes me say this is the Bex Galaxy phone of all time. It is the fastest Samsung phone of all time. It goes right up there, maybe even sometimes is even faster than a regular Android phone like a Pixel. It's so, so fast. It's really blown me away. I've never had any lag, zero lag with the Galaxy S9 Plus. The six gigabytes of RAM and the Snapdragon uh, 845 in there make this baby cruise so, so nicely. Um, it's Everything's butter. Uh, the opening up apps is really quick. Um, I've never had any issues with speed and uh, it's a delight because when I go back to something like, just thinking back to like a Galaxy Note 7 or a Galaxy S7 and then an S8 even, uh, I did have hiccups, I did have lag. And uh, starting off with the Note 8, the Note 8 really didn't have any lag and this one just takes it to a whole nother level and meaning that there's zero lag all speed, it's just a beautiful experience. Another wonderful thing added into the Galaxy S9 Plus was stereo speakers. And these, I, from what I can remember, are the best speakers I have heard on a phone by far. Like, amazingly loud, especially when you turn on Dolby Atmos, it brings it, like the, the, the volume and the clarity and everything up a notch, and it sounds so, so good. Um, it's one of the things that kind of surprised me because initial reports when like some of the bigger YouTubers that already had this phone, they're like, yeah, it's slightly better. It's not that much better. And then I got it and I'm like, I don't know what those guys were drinking because this thing is amazing. The speakers are so good, so clear and so loud. I actually play this and it seems sometimes louder than either, even than my regular Google Home, which I have the regular size version and I play that, I mean, that's louder, but you know, that has a bigger speaker and this thing can definitely compete with this. I, you know, I listen to the music uh, when I'm in the shower, I put this outside the shower door and I can still hear the, you know, the podcast or the music that I'm listening to. I can't do that with other phones that I've had. I've tried the Pixel phone, which uh, has Pixel 2 XL has stereo speakers and they don't hold a candle to this speaker, the speakers on this phone. They're absolutely amazing. Let's talk about the camera next. Now the camera, don't get me wrong, it is really, really nice. Um, I still kind of at times like the Pixel camera better, um, sometimes better with videos, sometimes better with pictures, but you know, sometimes this outperforms. It's kind of like a toss back and forth with me. Um, I would say with photos, I like the Pixel better overall, just generally, um, the Pixel 2 XL that is. Uh, but with videos, I 
like this better, especially doing 4K 60 frames per second. That's like, oh my God, it's so fluid, so beautiful. Uh, it's one of the great joys of uh, this phone is that 4K 60 frames per second. Uh, some of the things that I don't really care about, it, this is kind of the camera, I guess, because you use it, the AR emoji. It's a new thing added in here. Didn't really care about it. Didn't really impress me that much. Um, I used it a couple times and didn't use it again. And I, maybe I'm not that demographic that's made for that AR emoji, but it's, I, they could take it or leave it. I don't really care. Um, but overall, the camera, the front and the back, takes decent photos. Um, I, I've taken some beautiful photos as well with it. I just feel on a consistent basis, I get better photos with the Pixel. But uh, again, this is a very close second, but the videos, I feel like you know, this can definitely hold its weight uh, versus any other phone doing videos. So camera, I'd give it like a A minus and I'd give like the Pixel an A or you know something closer into that range. But uh, again, the camera is really, really nice with this phone. Next up would be the fingerprint sensor. Let's talk about the placement. The placement of it is definitely better than it was last year. It was in the top right, now it's here but it's still kind of small. I feel like I put my fingerprint on there sometimes and it doesn't work or it takes a little bit of time for it to unlock. It's kind of annoying in that regard. I wish it was uh, uh, just, I guess, slightly larger. Um, if you have big hands, I think you're gonna have a tough time with that fingerprint sensor. Um, it's nice that it has gestures. It's nice that it's in a better location than it was last year. But overall, I think they definitely could have um, improved it or at least still can improve it. Uh, hopefully next year, making it slightly larger or placing it on the display uh, so that you, you know, basically you could unlock the phone anywhere with it. As for some of the biometrics like the iris scanner and uh, the face unlock, I do like the face unlock. It's fairly fast. Um, you can see it unlocked my phone fairly fast. Um, I don't use the iris scanner. I've used it in the past and it feels like it's a little bit of the same, a little bit too slow. So I don't even bother using it. I just use the fingerprint sensor um, or I just use face unlock. And I love face unlock because like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty damn fast and uh, it's definitely one of the strong points about this phone. Next up, let's talk about the software. The software on this is nice. Now, do I like it better than vanilla Android? I don't know if I would say that much because you know a lot of the features on here I probably and honestly don't really use that much because I think they're just fluff, but the software runs great. Again, no lag like I said earlier. Um, it's got nice software features if you want to do tons of stuff. I mean, more than I could mention um, on this you know, short kind of review video, uh, they've got advanced features in here that allow you to do one hand mode, you have finger sense gestures, quick launch the camera, uh, smart capture, palm swipe to capture, direct call, smart alert, easy mute. There's all kinds of features and that's just a t the tip of the iceberg. You go into other things as well and uh, you definitely get uh, all kinds of features with this phone. So software is definitely a strong point I feel with this phone. Some people hate uh, TouchWiz or whatever you wanna call it, Samsung Experience. Uh, I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me. Um, it's, it's the only thing I don't really care about. I don't really love their launcher, so I tend to use either the Pixel launcher on here or I'll throw on Nova or some other launcher. Um, the Samsung launcher isn't bad, but I just, one of the main things that I really like is I like vertical scrolling on my apps and you can't do that for some reason with the Samsung launcher. If you could, honestly, I'd probably stick to that one when I'm using this phone. Otherwise, I'm pretty damn happy with just using a different launcher. Uh, but again, the software experience, it doesn't get in the way and that's the main thing. And lastly would be the battery. The battery on this thing is not the best, not the worst, kind of somewhere in the middle. I feel like it's the best battery life I've had on any Samsung phone. I've had really, really bad battery experiences with Samsung phones dying at you know one o'clock in the afternoon and then having to recharge. And I don't get that with this. Um, I generally get really, really good battery life with this. And uh, that's one of the nice things with this, but I still feel like I'm gonna bring it up again because it was one of my favorite phones. I feel like the Pixel does give me slightly better battery life than this phone does, but I still, even with that 3,500 milliamp battery, I generally get all day usage and just really good quality battery. So guys, that is my review for the Galaxy S9 Plus. If you wanna pick it up, I would definitely recommend it. It is the best Samsung phone of all time. And I, again, 
you're saying, well, big deal. Every Samsung phone is, and it should be, but this is unequivocally, easily the best Samsung experience. And honestly, it, it, if there's two Android phones, I would recommend to everybody it would be the Pixel 2 XL or this phone. And it's this phone is, like I said, nearly perfect. You got wireless charging, which you don't have with the Pixel 2 XL and some other things as well. Better design on this, um, it, you know, it's, get a bigger screen too. Um, so I would definitely, if out of the two phones, if someone was getting a new phone, I would tell them to get this phone, honestly. I think this is the best Android phone also that you can buy at this moment in time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you down the road. Peace.